Hey guys, today I'm going to introduce you to Andy Warhol, an American artist, film director, and producer, and a leading figure in the pop art movement. Initially, Andy Warhol pursued a career as a commercial illustrator and became a very controversial artist. Andy Warhol bravely lived as an openly gay man before the liberal gay movement and was almost killed by a radical feminist in his studio. Hateful people. Andy Warhol enjoyed and used many different medias in his work, such as paintings, photography, films, sculptures, and silk screenings. His most famous being multimedia events and silk screens, one of which was the Marilyn Diptych, the piece I can talk about. The Marilyn Diptych is a collage of 50 of the same and very famous publicity photo of Marilyn Monroe. Some things to know about this diptych is that it was created shortly after her death by drug overdose in 1962. Andy Warhol uses two contrasting cameras. One picture in her life as a star that is mainly filled with vivid colors, and the other is a picture in private life. Not so vivid. Warhol did not originally intend to create this for he made two separate canvases for the art collectors Emily and Burton Tremaine, who then suggested both canvases be sold as a dip tip, to which Warhol responded, which he was, yes. So Warhol. The two canvases contrast in the sense that the one on the left is heavily pigmented and the one on the right is a bland combination of black, white, and gray colors in relation to Marilyn Monroe's life and death. The Marilyn Diptych is made of oil, acrylic, and silkscreen animal on canvas. It shows a repetition of Monroe's smile in a sequential pattern that desensitizes her recent death and presents her as a consumer product, like Warhol's tomato soup cans. The piece of the diptych a hinge for leaf used on an altarpiece. It's similar to religious iconography, like the Annunciation Triptych by Robert Chandon, and the Garden of Earthly Delights by Hieronymus Bosch. This format supports the idea that Marilyn Monroe is being worshipped, and her image is visually overwhelming and multiplied. Also, Warhol's work was created using the silkscreen automation process, where the artist is a recreating machine the opposite of the intimacy of abstract expressionism. Warhol uses Marilyn Monroe's popular image to communicate that her celebrity status elevates her to the role of a religious figure and to consider the role of mass media in the reception of images.